what can you tell us about Curtis's new power? Can you give us any hints? Um, I can't really hint uh, on, on what <laughs> on what his power is. Um, it's fun, it's interesting, and you see a whole a whole different side it explores a different side of himself. But it's a lot more fun than I think than his previous powers, which is quite nice. It's a lighter note to play. Does he keep the same power, or will there be a bit more swapping? Um, throughout the series, um, he holds the same power for a, for a bit. There may be swapping, there may not be swapping. Maybe two powers at the same time, who knows. Will Curtis be a bit luckier in love this season? Um, yeah, I, suppose, I think he's always been kind of lucky. He's been kind of lucky. Everyone's been really like hot and cool. Um, but, yeah, I think there's a new relationship, um, which, is, which is explored. It has differences. It's not what you expect. Um, and she lives, so she doesn't die which is always, always nice. Can you tell us about Rudy? How does Curtis get on with him? I think that um, Rudy's character kind of plays the same, same role as, as Nathan's character. It becomes like a catalyst within the group. Um, but I think Curtis finds, finds him less irritating than he found Nathan. I think it's, it's less kind of, you know, there's less friction involved. Um, but he's still kind of irritating. I think he thinks he's a bit of a buffoon, a bit of an idiot, really. Are there any storylines that still shock you when you read them? Every, yeah, every time. <laughs> every time. Um, every storyline shocks me. They're so dark. They're so, like, I don't know, Howard's mind. And there's got another writer on board as well called John Brown. You know, they're kind of, yeah, they're dark. We've heard there might be some full frontal nudity in this series. Can you, are you involved in that? Um, there may be some. I may be involved. I don't know. Is there anything you're ever uncomfortable about filming on the show? A full frontal nudity. <laughs> We've heard the Misfits will be fighting Hitler this series. Anyone else that they might be up against? No, no. I think Hitler's the only dictator we, um, we've got. We, we opted out for Idi Amin. Um, so, yeah. yeah, I think Hitler's it. But um, the, the biggest figure. But obviously there's always going to be, like, you know, what usually it's kind of a, a villain of, of an episode. But I think he's the most famous one thus far. So what kind of villains will be seeing? Any interesting powers? Yeah, and some without. I think what, what's really interesting in this series is that um, there's an episode that the villain hasn't got any powers. It's just what he does that is kind of, kind of creepy and weird and, and dark. But um, yeah, there are some interesting powers. Some very interesting powers, I think. You're back in your community service outfit. I am. Do you like it? I love it. Good, any, good. any hints about how? Mm -mm, no hints about how. I'm really good, aren't I? <laughs> With the no hinting. Uh, yeah, no hints about um, how, but it happens quite swiftly and, and kind of, it's funny and ironic and for the characters, really annoying. Very, very annoying. Seth's got a much bigger role this time around. Can you tell us anything about he, how he fits into the show? Obviously, because he deals the powers, I think... I suppose the way to say it is that if we do have problems with the powers themselves, we can revert back to him. Um, and he, there's a kind of emotional, romantic involvement as well. So what should we be excited about Series 3? Um, well, if last year there was more, and that's what we were saying, it was just more of everything. I think this year there's a twist. I think it's a twist on, on characters, on emotional journeys, or there are new characters. Um, so I think if there's more, and now it's a twist. That's a sound bite.